Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Assassin's Creed. Uh, previously we finished all the uh, side uh, uh, side quests and um, exploration in uh, Alexandria, and now we are ready to continue exploring the Canopus Gnome. Uh, so, oh yeah, we had this uh, trireme out in the ocean to to um, complete. And look at my spiffy new mount. Buses the camel, which we got for completing the side quest Falakitai in the eye, finally ending all of Gennadios' Falakitais and uh, letting the poets loose on the streets of Alexandria to write their poetry and plays. I do feel it should be possible to uh, jump to that um, to that banner there, either from this direction or maybe from the top of the statue again. Uh, we can definitely jump from the platform there. Let's see if we can do it from here. We can't, but we survived. <laughs> Yeah, I, I just love doing silly stuff like this, seeing what's possible and what's not. That wasn't... I still do feel we should be able to do it from the top of the statue. Maybe just get a be better angle. Let's try to do it without any distractions. Hey, no. I said, let's try doing it without any distractions. All right. Damn it. Okay. No. Oh. I no longer think it's possible. <laughs> It looks like it just might go. Like it ju just might be possible. I won't bother to try again, but uh, just comment that it does look possible. <laughs> Clear the way, hurry! Clear the way! Hey! He had iron. Sweet. Now I need to be more careful to hit every time because uh, of the combo multiplier on the weapon. <clears throat> Alright, enough taffing about. Let's go uh, finally complete all of Alexandria. There's the trireme. Oh, did you see that? See that? Who are you? To Thebes? Mine is the fastest barge on the Nile. Oh yes, no, we will not travel hurry, to hurry. Thebes. We'll be leaving soon. That's the um, that's the curse of the Pharaohs DLC, <clears throat> Thebes. Mine is the which we are not nearly high enough level to. Uh, to even begin. I think it's uh, from 44, 45 to 55. Ah, I should have uh, gotten a boat. There is one.
<clears throat> Come back. Oh, damn it, what hit me? Was it them? Whatever it was, it was a hard hit. don't have any um, <coughs> excuse me any side quests we can do just yet so let's travel back to Canopus Gnome and let's do the wild ride side quest So Yeah, so I see it pays to uh, explore a little bit. We do get carbon crystals for doing so. Very valuable upgrade material. <coughs> Oh, I missed them. I should be cautious around here. Huh. I was just outside the um, restricted area, so he, I didn't aggro him. Huh. Come on now. Bayek, don't do as I command you. Do as I want you to do. Oh, missed him. Yeah, I'm now here. 
Letter of complaint. <clears throat> I am writing to complain about the res this receipt of purchase. I did not ask for the horses Abraxas or Santana. I didn't buy the horses Abraxas or Santana. I didn't want Abraxas or Santana. I might have been lamenting the death of Icarus at the pub, but I didn't do anything. Ruses. Hmm. <clears throat> Dead end. In Sapi Resnome, north of the Topolis Temple, you can find me in the farmland. I lay where Man's creation brings the Nile's water to the desert sand. <clears throat> so yeah, I'll do these papyri um, if I remember them when we get to the correct area. Uh, otherwise, we'll uh, just do the remaining ones at the at, at some point or at the end of the uh, the main story. Quite the estate. Yes, we've been lucky. Father breeds horses, and his horses have often won in the games. I told him about meeting you. You told him what? Not much. That you are a rider. That you know Claridas well. Too well. By half. Come. He would love to meet you. Beautiful, isn't she? Bright eyes, flawless gait. Hey, she wants to win, eh? You know a thing or two about horses. Nikias, who is your friend? Father, this is Bayek. He wants race with Claridas. My father, Philocrates of Canopus, son of Themistocles of Canopus. Grew up with Claritas. Let's see you drive, Barak. The gears keep close. Maybe you'll learn something. Barak. Ah, fine. <laughs> Does Siwa have a great course for racing? No. We are a small village. We did have chariots. The old kingdom and its pharaohs brought them. I envy that freedom. <clears throat> so this is Wild Ride. Bayek seeks out Nikias, a young racer, to meet the patron of the green team and learn about racing. Nikias, a member of the pr Prasina green team, had told Bayek they needed a new racer for their team. Bayek needs to speak to Nakia at his father's estate to find out more about the green team. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I think there's... isn't this a location to complete? Is there a treasure somewhere? Oh yeah, it was the papyrus, that's right. When was the last time you raised Claridas? A long while. I barely know the name. Careful! Tighter on the reins! Watch the statuary! Icarus was the true master of the races, something Claridas hopes to aspire to. My father loved Icarus. He was his favorite, his favorite rider. Let's show my father your natural skill. You have a light touch! You are a natural. With you riding for the green, I'm sure we can win in the Hippodrome. You are a natural. Have a light touch! Faster, Bayek! Faster! Such speed! What's going on? Something's wrong. Father! Hurry, Bayek! Negias! Horse thieves! Kia! 
the balls on them. She is my willingest horse. You have to get her back. We won't let you down, father. <clears throat> Hurry, men! We can't let these brazen raiders get away with this! The honor of Machina Green depends on it! Of Machina Green! So if I remember correctly, this quest uh, actually takes us quite a ways away it from uh, Kalopos. Father loves that horse more than... Whoa. More than all the others we've raced! For Philocrates! For Saganaki! <laughs> Nice shot, sir. Thanks for the assist. Oh, and we got the predator bow. Well, <laughs> that's also level six. Never mind. Thankfully, there's no friendly fire. We must be getting close. For Icarus, for Prasina Green, for the Green! Ah, oh, maybe we aren't going outside the Canopus Gnome. Sounds like e exaggerations to me. All right, so uh, the bandits roam the region northeast of the estate, find them back Nagasaki to the estate. And there's a crocodile munching away at some poor bird or something. More crocodiles. Yeah, I think I'll help the soldier deal with the crocodile first. <laughs> they are very dangerous. Is that all? Looks like it. Actually, I do think I want to hunt a little bit of crocodiles here, since this is a relatively low-level uh, area. <clears throat> yeah, the crocodiles here aren't that dangerous. And look at that, we can craft. Uh, do I want to save it for anything else, though? No, I don't think so. No. <clears throat> I want more melee damage. My hunter bow ain't too bad, actually. Hey. 
Oh, who's there? Oh, probably just the hippo and the crocodile aggroing. Oh, look at that! The crocodile got him! Oh, more hippos! Tank puppies, isn't that what they're called? In internet parlance. Alright, more melee damage. Don't mind if I do. And the next level will also require pellets. Uh oh. Uh oh, I don't want to be in the water. That's uh, not a good idea. Damn it. I got stun locked. <laughs> I think I had the small chance to escape there. I think I could have dodged away and dropped a smoke bomb, but I got stun locked. Indications of violence and bloodshed. I should investigate. I think um, I think in the water, uh, hippos can attack you three times, and then you have a chance to sw swim for a bit. But um, yeah, as you saw, <laughs> with two of them on my tail, I had no chance. Yes, this is the uh, this is another part of the taste of her sting quest line. So let's explore up here. Serapis, God of Divine Majesty and Lord of the Sun, someone has placed a mark upon you. The scorpion is the sign of circuit. So I think that says Serapidos, I think. I don't read Greek, but um, I do read Kyrillic. Uh, and some of the letters are the same in Kyrillic as in, as in Greek. <clears throat> this poor man was half eaten by crocodiles. But only after he died. Someone prepared him for burial, cut out some of his sacred organs. His stomach, at least, was removed. And of course, being a student of physics and uh, mathematics, you do learn a bit of Greek. Damn it. A bit of Greek um, letters. to Serket, the goddess of magic, the scorpion. Old blood stains this table. I think the body was prepared here, but crudely. This is no fine skilled work. All right, there's one piece of uh, investigation I'm missing. <coughs> Probably up top. Ah, oh, here we are. Prayer to Circuit. The mysteries of the gods are held beyond the door, contained within the secrets of the body. We must call together facets of the four gods. Sekhmet, Mistress of the Desert, Serapis, Lord of Transition, Sobek, Lord of the Nile, and Horus, Lord of the Sky. Their followers will be initiated into our order in their holy places. We will share their knowledge and drink of their wisdom. 
And I do want to kill that um ritual against the gods. That leopard. Or what is driving it? Where is it? There it is. Oh my god. It was kind of camouflaged. Alright, let's continue on with the wild ride quest. Oh, they're already engaged in combat. Oh well. That is an unmarked treasure, I think. Or a treasure from an unmarked location. Let's just go get that right quick. Maybe also kill a hippo. Or two. Their hitboxes are really janky, I think. At least when you want to get headshots. Oh, I thought I had uh, the sleeve darts equipped. No matter. Come on up. Let's join the free. Oh, we got some more pelts. That's excellent. Whoa. Let's see, what should we get on the way back? So I do want to skirt this edge here to avoid uh, going to Heracleon Gnome. So let's do keep that in mind. Gotta pay attention, those crocodiles are sneaky. That's a hippo. And that's iron. 
I might have actually just loot that uh, tri rim in the in the distance. Just after losing the sunken looting the sunken temple of Serapeon. <clears throat> And craft a bit more. <clears throat> oh yeah, finally. The hidden blade. I actually do have a lot of iron. Uh, it's bronze I need. Okay, but I won't say no to a hidden blade upgrade. Next we need um, more bronze. All right. But we will also need um, uh, iron as well, so let's go. Oh, another crafting tool pouch. Oh, yeah, sweet. Now we have enough um, hard leather, and we had just enough pelts to do it as well. That is excellent. Hayek is so polite. You there! Stop! Uh, best not to draw attention here. Wait a second. That for you! Uh -huh. Ah, oh, come on. I didn't want that. Ah, damn it. I'm standing in the fire. That's so stupid. Come on. That's what I wanted. Just trying to be a little bit creative with my kills. Wait, did I loot the uh, materials I needed? I think I did. Yeah. Alright, back to Nagasaki. And let's get him back to his proper owner. Did he hit his head? <laughs> kind of looked like that. Or at least sounded like that. Now that viewpoint is still in the Canopus Gnome. Yeah. But let's get Nagasaki back to his owners. Now I forget what the blue team is called. Blue something. Anyway, that's the other team, and I'm supposed to hate them for some unspecified reason. Now that I think about it, my favorite color happens to be green, so... For my personal sake, it's, uh, it's a fine team to be on, I guess. <clears throat> my setup is... you did it! I cannot believe it! I was convinced we'd never see Saranaki or my son again. I dealt with the bandits who stole her. I suspect they stole Saranaki on behalf of your blue rivals. Gods blast them. We'll have to beat the blues in the races to teach them shame and humiliation. I hope you race wearing the green, I... Barrett. I will do my best. 
I'm sure the gods will bless Brasina Green in their favored arena. And we got a new mount. The Black Arrow. Steady, fast and responsive to the lightest touch. This horse is an arrow in animal form. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, it's an okay mount, I guess. <laughs> we do g get more crazy mounts uh, in different quests and from random hacker chests, so... Uh, I think my personal favorite is the unicamel, which is a, which is exactly like it sounds. It's a unicorn camel with rainbow trails. Uh, anyway, let's look at the map. So now I think we should maybe. Um, yeah, this is a Polidorus estate, I think. I can look at the uh, oh well I guess the question marks don't say what the location is uh, yeah so let's go um, let's progress the um, story uh, just a little bit further so let's do the uh, Magi of Egypt let's just fast travel over here if we can oh, I did see the fast travel icon there we go just had to be precise. my friend. Friend. Bike of Siwa. Ah. Then your help, please. You are I as Huh? Any other survivors? Only Damastis. They took him prisoner. And the scroll? What of the scroll? Damastis had it. That ass Damastis should have destroyed it. Cleopatra owes you much. Can you get to a healer by yourself? I've killed you, Doros. Huh? Well done. He was the snake, yes? Man to man, Bayek, there is much you have yet to understand. <laughs> man to man, I need an answer. I must take the measure of you first. Rescue the masters and recover the scroll. And then I will know if you're the man that I acclaimed you to be. Where is this Damastis? He should be on the docks in Carnopos Harbor. I can't risk that someone reads the scroll he carries. Alright, sounds straightforward enough. Gotta deal with the guards first. Sleep in my own filth in here. Yeah, let's just get you these guys as well. 
I won't say no to more loot. The danger has not passed, my friend. The danger has just begun. Oh, he took flight. <laughs> Right, come with me then. Thank you. Get me to a safe place, then we will talk. Now, how far away is safe? I was going to kill all of them. That damn cage was too hard to get out of it all. <laughs> I don't believe you, but all right. If you say so. Apollodora sent me to help you. Give me the scroll. Scroll? I do not have any scroll. Your job was to carry it. I hid it on our ship. I did not want it to fall into the wrong hands. Where is the ship? At the bottom of the lake. They sank it. Ah, very well. I will get it. Apollodorus is waiting for you at the lighthouse. I will tell him to find you near the sunken ship. <laughs> fetch quests, fetch quests, fetch quests. Now, sort of after this uh, part, uh, the after we're done with Kalapas Gnome, the story of the game picks up a bit, I think, to the more interesting parts. Just a, uh, an arrow rack, yes it is. So what we did we find? We found uh, the scroll wet from the lake. The scroll is bound with leather and marked for delivery to Foxidas. Foxidas, who we will learn about in a little bit. Papyrus plus water equals great success. Yeah, you might say so. <laughs> One wonders. Maybe it's wrapped in um, cellophane or something like that. Or like those um, zip-locked, uh, what do you call them, bags. Hello, DFGX, the by the way. Papyrus. How are you? Well done, Bayek. I see you are a capable man. Someone I may be able to trust. They say leather-bound, yeah. The scroll was meant for the Roman general Pompey in an effort to sway Rome to Cleopatra's side. She will be grateful to you for keeping the communication secret. She is at my estate. We're headed there now. And as we know, leather um, leather is hydrophobic, so. Inform me that she was a driven woman stalking deadly prey. It so happened that I also had reason to bring down this prey. When Aya was successful, I stepped in to protect her. We are grateful. And we are grateful that you have eliminated Eudorus. He was an odious individual. <laughs> I should tell you that in addition to Eudorus, I put an end to the Philakatai of Alexandria, Gennadios. Gennadios? I am very glad he is dead. 
but it will cause serious problems for you. Ooh, the plot the thickens. The Flashies are a tightly bound group. And murderers. They will certainly come after you. So be it. Can I ask why you wanted Eudorus dead? As you know, Cleopatra's brother, Ptolemy, is too young and pliable to be a strong leader. We believe Eudorus was the force behind Ptolemy, responsible for so many of Egypt's current ills. Yeah, you're good. You're doing Duke now for Jotun School of Cops, guarding a gym hall. That's great. Uh, for those who don't know, Dugnad uh, is a Norwegian word which uh, uh, means something like voluntary voluntary work, I guess. Uh, you usually do it for like local clubs and things. Or in, um, it's also very usual in um, what do you call it? Uh, neighborhoods that people work together to clean up the um, yards around the houses and things that are uh, for the good of everyone. The queen enjoys the life of high society. So that's interesting. <clears throat> I'm pleased that Aya is bringing some sober substance to Cleopatra's social circle. She is an extraordinary woman, your wife. I know. Bye. Before I can disclose all secrets, Cleopatra must meet and approve of me. You can kill cats in this game, but you can't kill the... the chickens. She can be particular. Let me give you some advice. When you approach the queen, <clears throat> in deference. Speak only in reply. Yours is not to question, but to answer. Yes, yeah, so I, I try not to talk over dialogue whenever I can handle it, uh, whenever I, I can. Um, yeah, so you're uh, watching me on your mobile phone then, I guess, the FXX. Not be distracted by the festivities. She has a large entourage and they like to amuse themselves, sometimes to excess. Speak clearly. In measure. Could I do a quick story recap? Sure. Um, so, do you want me to begin from the beginning? Yeah. All right. So, really quickly, we are a Magi from this uh, little village called Siwa. A Magi, as I understand it, is uh, like a protector, like an early form of police, in a way. And um, Bayek is the last Magi, and the story begins uh, in Medias Res, as you say, uh, in the middle of the story with... Oh. The audio back. I dropped my <laughs> my controller. All good, yeah. So, as I was saying, um, uh, the game starts strong. Uh, Bayek is uh, killing someone. We don't quite know who he is. We discover soon that uh, he's a member of um, an order called the the Order of the Ancients, uh, who are quite mysterious in the beginning. They are they want to get into a vault hidden beneath uh, this place, the Temple of Amun in Siwa, and we really quickly figure out that uh, one of these masked ones, the Order of the Ancients, killed by Exxon Hemu, and that's basically why he's on his quest for revenge. Uh, so we travel uh, to this location, Ement Nome, where we meet up with uh, uh, Bayek's brother, uh, who runs the Temple of Sekhmet in Yabu. He's not really integral to the story at all, uh, he's just sort of on our way to Alexandria, where we meet up with Aya. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, we meet up with Aya, Bayek's wife, and um, yeah, I should mention we. Uh, this is the guy Rujek, who we kill in the beginning, in the cutscene, and then we kill uh, Meduna Moon in Siwa, and when we get to Alexandria, we discover that Aya has actually taken out uh, both this guy uh, Acteon and um, Ketesos, who we never meet in the game. 
Uh, and then we kill um, someone called Gennadios. He's not one of the masked ones, but he's a Philakitai of Alexandria. Um, and then we kill uh, who is known as the one who's known as the snake, <coughs> Eudorus. Uh, we do that right after we get the hidden blade. And now we don't have any more targets so far. We think we've um, completed everything, but as you can see, there's more room for bigger targets. Hello, Atlas. How are you doing? Um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, we meet up with Thanos in Alexandria, who is Aya's uh, uh, um, nephew, um, who puts us in contact with Apollodorus, who we just met. And we have just ridden with Apollodorus to his estate, here. Um, what more is there to say? That's basically it, I think. <coughs> I think um, you, Atlas, you came uh, just in the middle of my story recap. Yeah, you're very welcome. Uh, and yeah, we will soon uh, learn a bit more in the story. And now we are on our way to meet Cleopatra, who is quite a character. This way. Where is my opium pipe? I will sleep with anyone as long as they agree to be executed in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> like Xantivis. He was well satisfied with his bargain. Who is this toothsome fellow? In Mehoto ek Nebshele. My queen, this is, uh... Well? It is a generous offer. But I have already pledged my life to this woman. Aya, you have chosen well. Come, we have much to discuss. Celebrate, my friends! <laughs> you were meant to kneel. <laughs> ah, Pasheremta. Meet Aya and Bayek. They put an early end to Eudoros. Delightful. You are joining our efforts, then? We do not know what your efforts are. Eudorus was a member of the Order of Ancients. They are responsible for my exile. They tore me from my throne. And why should I care about them? Oh, the snake has many heads. Those heads make up the Order. The snake is the man who killed my son. It is not so simple. What are they talking about? I don't know. They must know something. The Order of Ancients seeks to control all Egypt. Ptolemy is but their puppet. We have informants in each region, but they have been unable to touch the order. Across Egypt, mysterious forces work against us. For instance, here, in the Nile Delta, the endless sands swallow up whole villages, yet a malignant human force moves with them. That force is one of the order of ancients, called the Scarab. And over here, in most sacred Giza? A shadowy figure called the Hyena controls all that occurs. What is certain is that Giza is the land of death and loss. And then there's Memphis. All is cast in my land. Even the sacred Apis bull himself. The one called the Lizard has worked a sort of diabolical power. So the snake is the order of ancients? Yes. Eudorus was known as the Hippo. You are right, my love. He was not the last one. All of these are. When the Order wants something, as in Siwa, it does not hesitate to crush all in its path. For Siwa, 
Now, Fayum. It is the most oppressed region in all of Egypt. Where the crocodile wields cruel power, the denizens live in constant fear. That is the fate that awaits all Egypt if we fail to stop the order. We need decisive action. It is time for assassinations. We still have not found the man who killed him. Our son shed will weep with joy when we clear the map of those figures. You are my Magi now. Protector of the true Pharaoh of Egypt. So it shall be. Tonight, we drink, celebrate, make love. Tomorrow, Where is that damn girl? All right, so there was a lot of things happening there. Um, I forgot to mention that um, uh, Eudorus, who we killed in Alexandria, uh, was actually the one who uh, was responsible for killing uh, Bayek's son. And you might have noticed um, uh, Bayek's uh, not flashback, but uh, in the vision with the mummy head on the table, uh, it briefly switched to a face of a kid that was Hemu by Exxon. Uh, and this is the first time um, the first time uh, the Order of the Ancients is mentioned actually. So here's where we learn who they are. And you might remember Eudoros was known as the snake, or at least that's what Bayek thought, but he's actually the, the hippo. The snake is the Order of Ancients, as was explained by Cleopatra. Uh, so there's a new text here, I think. Royal scribe to Ptolemy, Eudorus was one of the puppet masters of the pharaoh. He met his death in Alexandria's opulent bathhouse, thanks to Bayek's newly acquired hidden blade. <clears throat> Although he did manage to exact limited vengeance, the loss of Bayek's ring finger. But was Eudorus in fact a snake? I think this is the same text, actually, but Bayek is wondering if he is in fact a snake, which turns out he isn't. And we have uh, a bunch of new targets. Uh, the lizard has crippled the great city of Memphis where the Order of Ancients must not take root. The crocodile is part of the Order of the Ancients and works in the Fayum oppressing the region. The hyena oppresses Giza with the Order of Ancients. And the scarab is using the great deserts of Egypt as their personal graveyards. Uh, so we don't learn a lot at this time about them, uh, but we will uncover who they are eventually. Uh, let's look at our inventory. We got a new Magi badge, the Golden Magi badge. Cleopatra understands what the Magi's oldest duty is, to serve a pharaoh, a true and just leader appointed by the gods themselves. She believes she is true pharaoh of Egypt, and in serving her, one serves the true Egypt. She intends to bring the Magi back into the royal fold, as the Ptolemies have phased them out over the past few centuries. Her badge represents the license to kill on behalf of the gods and goddesses of Egypt, political immunity, and a right to enforce the law above that of mortals. It symbolizes the battle against the Order of Ancients. So, very interesting. Um, now, for the Let's Play portion of the, um, the stream, we have been going for uh, <coughs> excuse me, a little bit over an hour. 
<coughs> oh, excuse me. I seem to have gotten a cough. So, um, I will end the Let's Play here, but uh, I will stream for a bit longer. So this has been Let's Play Assassin's Creed Origins. We um, finished up in Alexandria and um, uh, did most of the side quests in Canopus Nome. We met up with Apollodorus and progressed the story and learned a bunch more about the Order of Ancients. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.